kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Chicago Cougars Madden 22 relocation franchise and we are almost finished. As you know, you love the series, you follow every episode, you know this is the final season. We are two games away from the playoffs. We have week 17, week 18, and then we have three, count them three, hopefully, playoff games. The Divisional, the Conference Championship, the Super Bowl. That's if we win each one of those previous games. So the maximum amount of videos left in the Cougars franchise is five. Five episodes remain as a max. If we lose in the divisional or the conference championship, that's just the way things go. Then we'll have a wrap-up. Probably its own video. So I guess the max would be technically six at that point because there would be a full full series wrap-up just to kind of put a nice little neat bow on it. Have maybe have some highlights, maybe have some reminiscing of some of my favorite moments, some of my least favorite moments. There, that probably will come out after the series is officially ended, whether we win the Super Bowl or not. So I guess the max technically is six, not five, with that special little um, finale episode. But that won't have any gameplay, actual like live gameplay on it. So the minimum is three. Oh well, four. The minimum is four with that finale because we could get through these two games in the regular season and then get to the divisional and get our cheeks clapped and we could get bumped in the first in the second round, I guess. So that is a possibility too. So we have to think about that. So there's a wide range here. Four to six episodes left to go in this series. I hope you're not too sad. I'm a little sad that this series is ending. This has been a great series for me. I've enjoyed every single episode, even though some of them you may not think that I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed every single episode. This has been a fun series. I know you guys have enjoyed it too. And it's going to hopefully end with us holding another Lombardi trophy, but we'll have to wait and see. We got to get through the Arizona Cardinals in today's episode. If you guys are excited, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and join that juice club. Let's get into uh, the video. All right, I do want to mention one thing before we actually like get into the video. Um, I have been putting my Discord link down below in the description as well as um, the normal play channel playlist with the the Cougars and all that stuff like I normally do. So if you want to, I've put it in the past few episodes last week and now um, on today's video here on Sunday. So I have been putting the, the Discord link. If you want to go join that and you haven't joined it yet, you can feel free to click on that. It'll take you to the uh, discord page the water juice server and you can just uh, get invited into that and then join the discord we got a bunch of fun things going on in there so if you want to join that uh, feel free to click on the link it's been in the past probably week no probably under a little bit under a week maybe like five six days i've put it in uh, i just haven't mentioned it in a video because i've mainly forgotten about it so <laughs> I actually remembered it this time. So I just wanted to say that before we actually jump into the actual video. So getting into the video, we're taking on the 9-6 Arizona Cardinals today. Kyler Murray's still here. He's only a superstar development quarterback at 92 overall. He shouldn't be too hard to contain, I wouldn't think. But I don't know. This is the first time we've played the Cardinals, I think. We're going to do the QB scramble. We're going to try and defend Kyler Murray here. And we're going to continue to do our throw it short method. That always works. We will take a look at what the Cardinals have to offer here, as we always do with the teams that we play. So I'm very intrigued to see how they've changed over these, what, four or five seasons that we've had. Very intrigued by how they could have changed. We know that they have Kyler Murray still. Uh, Dante Bethel and Austin Eckler get upgrade points. That's awesome. Good to see that. And now let's go take a look at the Cardinals roster. What are they working with here in, uh, what, 2024, 2025? Arizona Cardinals. They have Kyler Murray as quarterback. They have Alexander Madison as the running back. 
their wide receivers are ooh, Andy Isabella, who's fast, but not great. He's 5'9". They have Connor Gibson, who's 6'5", 92 speed, 93 excel, but he's only a 77 overall second-year man out of Oklahoma State. Paul Hoover, Courtney James. That's not a great wide receiver core in terms of overall. Maybe they'll play better on the field. I don't know. They have an older Hunter Henry. DJ Humphreys, Chandler Mixon, Wyatt Wakefield, Alec Richmond, and Lamont Edison are their offensive line. And Lamont Edison looks like a really good player. Old Miss, second year man, 23 years old, 82 overall, superstar development player. That looks pretty good. Good pick for them. Emmanuel Ogba, LaMichael McNeil, and Matthew Ioannidis on the D-line. But Ioannidis is hurt, so they have Jacoby Sherman who looks like he's going to be a pretty decent player too. So there's the D-line. Khalil Mack is over here now with Zayvon Collins, Isaiah Simmons, and Brooke Hughes as the linebackers. Byron Murphy, Greedy Williams are the corners with Eric Stokes. Then you got Justin Reed and Jordan Whitehead as the strong safeties. We've had a history with Justin Reed. He's played for the uh, Chicago Cougars in past. We can go and, uh, and check his stats. Here he is. He played uh, all of his years until just this up this past season in Chicago. So he's uh, made some memories, made some memories here in, in or here in Chicago, and now he's in Arizona. Oh, that's right, because um, he was a part of the Buda Baker trade. That's right. He was here this season, and then I just completely forgot about that. He was here this season, then we traded him to the Arizona Cardinals to bring in Buda Baker. That's right. I forgot about that. Speaking of making trades, we got to spin the wheel for maybe the last time. I don't think we're going to spin the wheel for the playoffs. Uh, I just need to focus on the playoffs. I don't need to focus on having to do a challenge or anything. So this is one of our final times actually spinning the wheel. Here we go. The wheel is up. Three, two, one. Spin that wheel. Here we go. One tapper on it. What are we going to get? I don't know. Uh, hopefully like a development upgrade. And it's going to be no, 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 no. Ah, I hate this one so much. Okay. We've got to make Kyler Murray. We've got to make Kyler Murray a 99 overall with X Factor and then try and stop him. <laughs> Why? I mean, he's a 92 overall already, so it's not a big change. Like, it's the same kind of thing that we dealt with uh, Russell Wilson earlier in the season. Where's the Cardinals at? I passed them. There they are. So we've got to make Kyler Murray a superstar X Factor 99 overall and then try and go out and beat him. Luckily, he doesn't really have many weapons to throw to, but just the fact that he's a superstar X Factor now with 99 everything is just very frustrating and annoying, especially because he's already very fast. And then just adding all this other stuff here, making him a 99, is that going to save or am I going to have to redo it? I'm going to have to redo it. Okay. For some reason, Madden sucks. So we're at to redo all that, make this, break tackle, stiff arm, give him all that stuff, give him change in direction, spin move, juke move, and then we'll go all the way down here to throw power, short accuracy, medium accuracy, deep accuracy, throw on the run, throw pressure, break sack, play action, fantastic, save changes. Kyler Murray is now a 99 overall. Uh, that's not good not good he's got 99s across the board he's an x-factor quarterback wait did it not save his x-factor did it not save his x-factor it says he's running gun okay perfect it says he's running gun let's change his abilities he's probably going to be running gun he needs to have escape art escape artist quick draws fine uh he can have he can have uh pass lead elite that's fine probably fast break no gunslinger he probably should have and then he should probably get dashing dead eye. So those are some those are some abilities that are going to hurt us, that's for sure. And we'll see how this new boosted Kyler Murray will do against us. It's going to be a very big deal. I think we can still beat him. We're undefeated against teams that we've played with a 99 overall X Factor quarterback. We've done it against Teddy Bridgewater, we've done it against Trevor Lawrence, and we've done it against Russell Wilson, and we've won all three of those games. Now we add Kyler Murray to that list. Can he be the one to beat us? I hope not. Let's go find out. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Let's go do it. It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports, and today's Clash of Conferences is just moments away. 
It's the cards and the reigning Super Bowl champs, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game... Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Chicago Cougar football is underway in the Windy City Stadium. Cardinals and Cougars and a 99 overall superstar X-Factor quarterback makes his way onto the field. Little Kyler Murray. He knows he's confident. He knows he's good. But does his team know he's good? Because they don't have anybody around him. Somehow they've won like nine games this season. I don't know how that's possible. They're going to give that to Hunter Henry first play of the game. And that is going to be a six or a five yard catch, excuse me. And we will go from here. Second down and five from the 30. We're wearing our all blues. I figured, you know what? We wore the all whites last week. Let's wear the all blues today. And the Cardinals are wearing the blacks. The all blacks with the, the shiny Cardinal on the helmet. I thought that was pretty cool. So I'd add that. So it's all blue versus all black. I thought that'd be a pretty cool little combination. Um, we wore the all whites, now we're wearing the all blacks. I thought it looked pretty cool, and it, it looks all right. And then for the final week of the season, we'll just go back to our normal uh, home or away or whatever it is. <laughs> we won't have any weird combination. I wish we could do like an alternate where we're like the tan or the beige, whatever color it is. That's a pick by Jeff Sewell, yes it is! That's what happened, you got a 6'4 corner covering a 5'9 receiver. You're not gonna get that ball over Jeff Sewell. <laughs> Number six on the season for Jeffrey Sewell. That's just a horrible matchup for the Cardinals there. Beautiful matchup for us. And speaking of short guys, I mean, Kyler Murray's, what, 5'9". So he's throwing 5'9 to 5'9", and Jeff Sewell's just out here 6'4", just going to pick off every single time. He's going to have a field day if that's what they're doing. And then Jonathan Taylor. We are trying to get him another rushing touchdown, a few more rushing touchdowns because... We got to try and beat the LaDainian Tomlinson record. We're not going to beat the Ezekiel Elliott record that he set this season. But we can certainly try and beat the Tomlinson record that is the real life record. Wide receiver post. We might have to get Kyle Pitts involved. He's wide open. Great block from Terry McLaurin. I needed one block from, or one break tackle from Kyle Pitts. I didn't get it there. If he would have broken that tackle, we would have been in the end zone. We'll go back to Jonathan Taylor here. Cut it to the outside. Give me a block. I didn't get a block or a very good cut. If hard cut was in this game, like it is in Madden 23, that probably would have ended up a little bit better. But we will go with quick slants. Kyle Pitts. I can't put him on a fade, or I can't put him on a post, but I can put him on an out route. That could work. Kyle's not going to get there, but I, I've got time. Terry McLaurin's open! Set your feet! Touchdown, Terry McLaurin. That might be get reviewed. I don't know if he actually got in or not. It is going to get booth reviewed. I'd like to actually see this. Okay, let's see what happens here. I don't even know if he got in. That's really close. He obviously had possession. It's not. They're not looking at possession. They're looking at if he drag, uh, drug both feet. A little bit of toe drag swag. What are they going to say about it? Terry's wondering. He's on the edge of his seat. Curious. And they call it a touchdown. He got both feet down. He did a little toe drag swag. And Rodrigo Blankenship on to put this one through. That's number 25 on the season for Terry McLaurin. 25 receiving touchdowns in one season is insane. And that's number 54 for Trey Lance. Remember, 55 is the record. So if he gets one more passing touchdown this, this game, 
He will tie Peyton Manning's record for 55. If he gets another one after that, he will have the record to himself. It's all up to him. And we'll see what Kyler Murray does after throwing the interception on the first drive. Keep throwing it to, to Andy Isabella. We'll, we'll eat that up all day. Eat that up all day. I mean, even A.J. Terrell, he's like, what, 6'1", 6 foot, something like that. He's still got a few inches on Andy Isabella. So, I mean, their, their wide receiver, I mean, six foot five secondary receiver. We did see that at Oklahoma State. So that is a little bit of an issue if they throw to him because we don't have a corner that can body him. I guess maybe Jeff Sewell could since he's like six foot four. Other than that, we don't really have a very tall secondary. I think Pastor Tan's like six foot, maybe six one. That's going to be a quick throw. AJ Terrell couldn't pick it off. AJ, I really wanted you to pick that off, my guy. If he had Acrobat, I say this every week. If he had Acrobat, that, those are an interception right there. Guaranteed. That's going to be thrown. It's caught by Alexander Madison. Huge hit. He holds on to the football. Second down and five. Clock is draining in the first quarter. We'll see what Arizona's got up their sleeve. Chase Young trying. Chase Young had a big day last week. And that's just Kyler Murray just having escape artist plus 99 speed. That is a problem to deal with there. Very big problem. But we'll see if we can get him. Micah Parsons with the shoelace tackle on Alexander Madison. Shot out of a cannon, Micah Parsons. And that's a tackle for loss. Second and 13. If we can get one more break, uh, breakout scenario, that would be awesome. Or maybe a wheel spin. The final wheel spin gives us some development upgrades. I would really appreciate that. Just something to give us some more development upgrades. That's what I want. Hunter Henry broke the tackle, got the first down. No surprise there. He always breaks tackles. Everybody breaks tackles. And we're under 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Kyler Murray hands it off. I don't know who that is. He's wearing uh, Larry Fitzgerald's number. It's P. Ryan. And he will get a yard. And that's the end of the first quarter. We've pretty much contained Tyler, Kyler Murray. He's been doing good this drive now. They haven't thrown it to Andy Isabella deep yet. So we'll see what they do in this one. They're going to give it to P. Ryan again. He's going to break the Pat Sertan tackle and actually get a decent gain. I'm not shocked that he broke that tackle. They always break the first tackle that I throw. Even if he's not a guy that has a great break tackle rating, they always break the tackle. They're going to hand it off again. This time it's Madison, and Madison will wrestle with Daryl Royals and get down to the eleven. Second down and three. If Kyler would just stand in the pocket a little bit longer and not hand this ball off, I would very much like it. Big hit laid by the linebacker, I think that was. Was that uh, Telfer or Royals? It was somebody. It might have been Telfer. Or not. Uh, it might have been Royals who laid it, not Telfer. It might have been Royals who laid the big hit there. And they're going to hand it off again. It's Madison, and he'll get the first down. Is it just going to be a run game? Is this going to be just a run game? for the Cardinals on this drive. It seems like what they're doing. It's wasting a lot of clock, but it's also wearing out our defense here. And they're gonna hand it off again. It's Madison. I don't wanna run commit now. I'm, it's too late. If I run commit now, they're gonna do a play action and Kyler Murray's gonna be wide open for something. So I'm just gonna commit to play and whatever. And now see if I would've run commit here, it would've been a pass. And Alex Ali lays the big hit on P. Ryan. He's going nowhere. Third and goal. Now, do we think this is a pass or another run? He's in the shotgun, so it leans pass, but this could very well be a run. Even a run for Kyler Murray. It's going to be a pass. He's going to find his man. Patrick Sertan diving in the end zone. Intercepts it. God, he's the best. Acrobat is so broken, dude. Acrobat is so broken. That was a touchdown that Kyler Murray threw. And Sertan just dives right in front of it. He says, not today. My interception. That is my interception. I'm taking that ball in the end zone. Look at this. Look how he dives. He basically just teleports in front of the, the receiver. I would be so, so mad if this was a throw, an interception that I threw. Look at this. This is not even physically possible by Patrick Sertan, but he says, I don't care about the laws of physics. This is my interception. Who cares about physics when you have Acrobat in Madden 22? 
<laughs> Physics don't exist in Madden 22 with Acrobat involved. Look at this. Look at this freeze frame right there. Look at that. Like, he, he literally goes through his head. Look at that. That's a perfect image right there. His arm is basically decapitating and killing the receiver there. And that is a, a touchdown for Patrick Sertan. I can get a even a little bit closer here. Look, <laughs> look at that. That's awesome. And he gets up. He does the celebration in front of the crowd. And he does the, uh, looks like a Triple H celebration here. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's the GOAT right there. That is That that name right on the back of that jersey and that, that number two, that's the GOAT, Pat Sertan. And we've got ourselves two turnovers already, two interceptions on the first two drives for the Cardinals. That drive actually looked pretty promising. It's, I'd be very upset if I was the Arizona Cardinals. Somehow that ball found its way to Tajay Chamberlain. I'm, I Don't ask me how it did it. It happened. It found its way to Chamberlain. He came back and got it. And that's a first down. He was really open too. And Jonathan Taylor will try to carry it. He's got five carries, 35 yards. Let's go play action drag wheel. And we'll see if... Yep, we got him right there. That's Terry McLaurin. Easy money. Break a tackle. Couldn't do it. But four for four, 61 yards. Remember, we're trying to get over 5,000 yards too. I think we already have over 5,000 yards. But we're trying to get uh, the record. Tajay, go up and get it. I didn't get an animation. Greedy Williams picks it off. I shouldn't have thrown that. That one's on me. I should have known that I wouldn't get an animation with Tajay Chamberlain there. That sucks. That's another unfortunate, unnecessary interception. Should never have happened. Alexander Madison will get the carry to get them breathing room. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That's real frustrating. I shouldn't have thrown that. I know it. Uh, that was just unnecessary. I was getting too greedy. And funny enough, I threw it to Greedy Williams. And that's going to be a broken tackle. The 6'5 receiver. Huge gain for him. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. No, that's dumb. I should never have thrown that, man. I should have either thrown it away or scrambled with Trey Lance. Somebody was open. I don't know. Ugh. I threw an unnecessary interception, and now it may work out in the Cardinals' favor. That's going to be caught and tackled quickly by Russ Telfer. We're going to go on the other side to Trent Favors here. We get past their stud tackle, but Kyler Murray gets the ball off to P. Ryan quickly. And they're running some no huddle here. We get the ball to start the second half, so they have to run some no huddle here. That's roughing the passer. I hit Kyler Murray late. Dum, 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 dum. Congratulations, you got even more yards after that. This feels like a Kyler Murray touchdown here. Maybe not in this play specifically, but this feels like they're going to tie the game on this drive. It's just got that kind of Madden feel to it. That's going to be thrown and caught by Gibson, and he will be brought down at the 8. They're getting real close. They are getting real close. They call a timeout. I think we're under a minute. Are we under a minute? Oh, we're just at a minute and one second. All right, first to go from the eight. They motion a couple receivers. Motion all their receivers, really. Andy Isabella's in the backfield. Murray's going to have to scramble. He's got space and he's got speed. Nobody's catching Kyler Murray there absolutely nobody that's the problem escape artist 99 speed 99 acceleration you're not catching kyler murray i could have had a qb spy on him and we wouldn't have caught him and that's a tie game unfortunately that's so dumb <laughs> oh it's and it's 100 percent on me which is dumb i hate that I like when I can blame the CPU or I can blame Madden for being a bad game. But no, that's just me being an idiot. Why would I throw that? God, I'm so stupid, bro. I just get dumber and dumber. Why would I ever throw that? That was a horrible pass. I knew I wasn't going to get an animation. Plus, it, was to, it wasn't even like it was to Terry McLaurin or anything. It was to Tajay Chamberlain. Big play Tajay. And uh, it's, it was never going to work. <laughs> It's just uh, simple as that. It was never going to work. I'm going to actually use my escape artist here because nobody on my side is open. 
Trey Lance has got some speed. He might not have 99 speed, but he's got certain. He's got a good good run for him. He's got some good legs underneath him. We'll go a double post. Jamar Chase is running a beautiful route that could get open if the safety doesn't come over and help. Kyle Pitts is open, but I think I can fit that in there. That's Jamar Chase, and that's picked off. Is that one on me? I'm selling. Why am I selling this game? Is that on me? That was open. I even set my feet. That wasn't a bad throw. That's just an animation that I didn't get. Pick that off. Yes! Patrick Sertan repays the favor. Gets that ball back. Thank you, Kyler Murray, for throwing that. I appreciate it. Was that on me? Was that interception on me? I feel like that was open. I don't know. Who cares? We got the ball back. I'd be more upset if we didn't get the ball back. But I'm going to actually run out of bounds here. 20 seconds. All three timeouts. So we don't have to worry. We can do whatever we want to do here. We can run verticals. Verticals is what we we got the huge gain earlier. Because nobody got open. Kyle Pitts, I have a feeling, is going to get open here. He does really quickly. Kyle Pitts. He's got space. He's got speed. We'll call a timeout here just so we have a little bit more time to think about what we want to do. I just had a feeling, sneaky little feeling, that he would get open there. And Terry McCullen, look at Terry. One-on-one -on -one in press coverage on a slant. You're cooked. You're cooked! Excuse me? December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus What did I just What did I just watch? Terry had him beat. Looking ahead. When they get into the postseason, they What uh Huh? What? what did I just witness there? What was that? That was a a good Was that a bad throw? Was that a good throw? These two teams currently going over their final I don't even freaking know, man. That, I'm, I'm at a loss for words on that interception. I've thrown three in this game so far. So is Kylie Murray. But I don't I don't throw interceptions anymore. Like, I've learned. There's rarely a game this season where I've thrown three interceptions in it. And it's just, I need to get back to the run game. <laughs> get me out of the passing game, man. I am, apparently, I've just lost everything. I'm, I'm horrible. They bring down the linebackers. There's nobody in the middle of the field. And, and Jace, uh, Jonathan Taylor is... I was going to say Jason Taylor. Jonathan Taylor absolutely feasts. And... Oh, I got the edge! Zaven Collins wasn't fast enough. And we got the edge there. We'll continue to run this ball with Jonathan Taylor because we can continue to get decent yardage. Or maybe not. They figured it out. Maybe if I would have changed the run, it would have worked. <laughs> um, let's see... Let's go with a crossing pattern. Oh, what do I like here? I don't like anything, probably. Uh, Kyle Pitts is open. Terry probably does get open if I hold on for a little bit longer, but Kyle Pitts is too open to ignore. Three interceptions just looks horrible. I hate that I have that on the resume there. Do I trust Jamar Chase? Yes, I do! I trust Jamar Chase. That was a bullet from Trey Lance. That was on a rope. He was throwing on the run. That was a booming shot. A frozen rope there to Jamar Chase. Number 12 on the year. And that puts us back in front. Man, we should have like 28, 30, 30 something points. We should have like 35 points right now. Which is the frustrating part. We should not be up by one touchdown in the third quarter by now it's just that's just annoying because i'm stupid i'm an absolute idiot we'll see what we can do sertan's got two interceptions jeff sewell's got one so can we get a fourth one with kyler murray they're gonna hand it off it's alexander madison no shock there he broke a tackle but it's a holding call so he's coming back who's it on though it is going to be on Alec Richmond, their right guard. So they get a really good run, but they're coming back. You love to see it. It's first down to 16. 
Sertan's got his X Factor out there. You can see it above my head. He's got his X Factor out. And that's going to be a deep one. Micah Parsons? What happened with Hunter Henry there? I didn't even affect it. Hunter Henry just dropped the pass. I'd be heated if that was me. I tried to get Micah Parsons to turn around and animate. He didn't do it, obviously. And that's going to be a big throw. Can I stop him? He didn't get the first down. Actually, I thought it was third down, actually. I thought that would have been fourth down. That's stupid. <laughs> I shouldn't have tried that much then. I was really stretching for that run or for that tackle there. And Trev Favors gets a sack on Kyler Murray. Number 19. Number 19 for Trev Favors. And he adds to his legacy, man. He adds to his legacy. Here it is, the punt. And I'm just going to punt or just going to fair catch it because that's the safe thing to do. <laughs> And now we try to score another touchdown here and not throw an inter another interception because that's just embarrassing. We should not be throwing interceptions this late into the career. Trey Lance is a much better quarterback than what I've shown today. I've just been an absolute idiot. We'll go with Jonathan Taylor again. They're starting to contain the run, and I don't like it. I don't like that they're starting to contain my run game. Do I have Terry? I'm going to have to fit it in there, and I do. I didn't like that throw at all, but I had to try to figure it out. And now that activated X Factor. Gambler is now activated. You love to see it. And we just cannot run the football. We were able to run, like, the first few plays of the game. Other than that, we have not been able to run the ball at all. We've ran this play before. It has worked before. And now we have Gambler. So we go aggressive catch Kyle Pitts. That was kind of a, a, a cheap little throw. I shouldn't. I probably should have went a little more aggressive there. We'll go back to it again. We have Gambler, so I don't have to worry about an interception. Oh, but I do have to worry about a sack. Khalil Mack, I didn't think he was going to get to me. I thought I was going to be faster. And that's fourth down. I didn't realize those. He's got 18 himself. Khalil Mack's having a great season. I didn't realize that was fourth down. That sucks. Do I have somebody here? Oh my God, Dalton Schultz. What a throw from Ky from Trey Lance. I'm about to say Kyler Murray. What a throw from Trey Lance. And a great catch by Dalton Schultz at the sideline. Trey Lance just heaved it. And Dalton Schultz was there somewhere. He said, F it. Dalton Schultz is down there somewhere. Yeah, we can't run the football. We got to try and get up to the one-yard line to give this ball to, to Jonathan Taylor because we cannot get any run room right now. Uh, I liked the uh, Terry McLaurin throw, but then again, it probably would have been picked off because I stupidly got sacked and lost my X-Factor. But we got Mr. Jamar Chase right here. He should be able to get to the sideline, and he does. He's at the six-yard line. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And now we give it to Jonathan Taylor and see. I, this is a favorable defensive formation to run against. So hopefully, if Jonathan Taylor can just do it. Yes, he can. The streak continues. We've only got one more game in the regular season. The streak continues. 21 to 7. There's about eight seconds to go in the third quarter. And Kyler Murray is selling. Kyler Murray, three interceptions. He's been sacked once. He does have a rushing touchdown, which was, to be fair, very impressive. Escape artist is broken. Plus, I mean, he has he would have scored that if he didn't have 99 speed and 99 acceleration, but it just helps that he does. He does. Let's see what we can do here on this first down and 10. Can we get another sack with Trent Favors maybe? No, but we can get a, not a tackle. Not a tackle there. God, I suck. I suck so much. Why? I don't want to suck at user tackling. I just do. <laughs> I don't try. Trust me. I do not try to miss these tackles. It's just what happens. It's not like I'm doing it on purpose to like make a make a uh, funny joke or something. No, I'm trying to tackle these players, and I just can't do it. That's just how bad I am. <laughs> Why do you think I don't play online? <laughs> oh, third down or second down. I was looking at the quarter, even though it says fourth quarter. You know what I mean. That's a, oh, that's an interception all day if Pat Sertan doesn't get lost. Big hit. Jeff Sewell knocked him at the one. 
He would have scored anyway. Pat Sertan got absolutely turned around. I don't know what happened. Whoever that receiver was turned him around, turned him inside out. And I thought Kyler kept that. He should have kept it. He would have easily walked into the end zone if he would have kept that himself. He chooses to hand it to Alexander Madison. He gets stopped at the one. Second down and goal. Second down and goal. It's a handoff to Madison. I got... Did you see me there? I was the guy that got pancaked by the left tackle. <laughs> I got squished. I got squish squashed. Alright, they think they're in it. They think they're in it. They're not. They're not in it. I've, I've given them false hope because of the fact that I've completely sold this game with three interceptions by Trey Lance. They, they've given them false hope by doing that. So we are going to absolutely stomp on their throat, step on their souls, and make sure that that dude's dead over there. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, that was crazy. But we are going to make sure that they have no life left in them. We're going to absolutely kill them. Here comes the run. There's Jonathan Taylor. He's going nowhere. 77 yards. He does have a rushing touchdown, which I love. The streak will continue. Are they going to keep this formation? Because if they do, Kyle Pitts is miles open in the middle of the field. They don't, but he ends up being open anyway. Kyle Pitts! If I would have waited a second longer, does the other dude get open there? Does Chase, Jamar Chase get open? A, that's a question that we'll never know. Jonathan Taylor tries to get up for a first down. Can't do it. Second down and one. Keep it going. Jonathan Taylor fights forward. Gets the first down. 87 yards. 87 yards. Play action. Terry's not running a very great route. But he is right, wide open, so we might as well throw it to him. Terry McLaurin, got to get as many yards as possible with him. Got to try and break those records, you know. Oh, we haven't done a jet sweep of Tajay Chamberlain in a minute. Might as well throw it out there. Show it on tape. So teams have to prepare for it. There it is. Oh, they're, they're ready for it. <laughs> they were ready for the jet sweep. I didn't think they would be. Give that ah Trey, that was horrible. I don't know what you're doing there. Absolutely shocking. All right, we got Jamar Chase running a nice route. Peterson's running a nice route. Where do we go with this? We scramble. That's what we do. Look at the open space. Look at the open space. Trey Lance to the out of bounds marker. Tons of open space for Trey. Tons of space. How could I not take the touchdown there? Wide open. And Jonathan Taylor, I needed you to break that tackle there. I really did. If you would have broke that tackle, we would have been sitting pretty in the end zone, showing off. And that's going to be hold your block. It's not that hard to hold your blocks. We'll go draw here. High snap. Why did they give me a high snap? The world may never know. 23-yard field goal. Is it really? It can't be a 20. It had to be like a 13-yard field goal or something. Might as well go for it. Uh, Jamar Chase, wide open touchdown. Ha, 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 ha. Galaxy brain. Galaxy brain. I'm too easy for you. Rodrigo Blankenship will send it in. 28 to 14, 215 to go in the game. This one is over. We are gonna go to 15 and 1 and defeat another 99 overall X Factor quarterback. You can't beat me. The only guys that can beat me is Patrick Mahomes. That's the only person that can beat me. I really hope we don't have to play them in the playoffs, because I'm gonna be terrified. We've beaten them in the playoffs before in the snow. But it feels like this season's different. I don't know. Feels like the Chiefs are out for revenge or something. Murray, he's going to take off and run, but Micah, or not Micah Parsons. Trent Favors is right there. He was keeping up with him? Wow. Good for Favors. I thought that was going to be Micah Parsons. Kyler Murray really has no answer for our defense. He's thrown three interceptions. To be fair, two of them have been kind of bogus. <laughs> I will say that. And that's going to be caught. Noah, or not Noah Sewell, Jeff Sewell. 
won't be able to bring him down. Andy Isabella outran him. First down and 10. Bring the inner, the sack there. Nope, that's not a sack. That's a big catch. Okay, he's got his X Factor activated. I'm terrified because he's got run and gun. And he's going to run and gun. Not very far. He's going to check it down to P. Ryan. They're going to keep going. They're wasting a lot of time here. They got to go quicker than this. That's going to be thrown. Caught by Isabella. Good tackle. Great tackle by Jeff Sewell there. And we'll continue to run the clock down on him. They got to throw it quickly. That's back in the end zone. Caught for a touchdown. 36 seconds left. We'll go for the, in, uh, the onside kick. They're going to kick the extra point. Understandable. Although, maybe you go for the extra, the two-point conversion. That might be a better play. All right, we'll go for the onside kick to try and defend it. If we get it, game over. Here we go. Onside kick. Mark Burton is out there. I'm terrified that he's out there. We do have Peterson. Peterson's the one to get it. He will get wrapped up, and we are going to win the game. Cardinals stayed in it. I will give them that, mainly because I allowed them to stay in it because I suck. If I wouldn't have thrown three interceptions, this game would be blowout. <laughs> but that's just what I do. I throw interceptions. They're going to use all the timeouts. No shocker. We could even kick the field goal. If we kick the field goal, then it's over anyway. And Rodrigo Blakeship really hasn't gotten a lot of field goal attempts this season. We kicked a few. We'll motion the man over. And we will get the next run to use their other timeout. And there's a big time hole opening. Jonathan Taylor almost got the first down. This is the ideal scenario because if we get the first down on this next carry, they use their last timeout and then they can't stop the clock anymore. And they're not even defending the run. They're letting me run right through these gaps. Jonathan Taylor, first down, he got it. And that is going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to win at home for maybe the final time. I don't remember if it's the final time or not. I don't remember when we played. I don't think we... Do we go to Raymond James? I think we might go to Raymond James next next episode. He got 106 yards, so he got over 100, which is good. I think he's gotten over 100 every episode. And that is going to be the game. That is going to be the game. We're going to win 28-21. A little bit closer than I would have imagined and I would have preferred. But it's just because I suck at this game and I threw interceptions. But Trey Lance... 16 of 20, 283 yards, three touchdowns, and stupidly three interceptions. Very frustrated about that. 23 carries, 106 yards, and a touchdown for Jonathan Taylor. Five catches, 81 yards for Kyle Pitts. Four catches, 61 yards for Terry McLaurin. He's a demon. Four catches, 83 yards, and two touchdowns for Jamar Chase. He's also a demon. 11 tackles for Russ Telfer. That's insane. Only one sack, which gets him to 19, but three interceptions. Two for Sertan, one for Pat er, for Jeff Sewell. Amazing. And we've got one game left against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We're going to find out how we're going to finish this season, hopefully with a W. All right, so the final regular season game of the series, we go to Raymond James to play the 8-8 eight eight Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Obviously, there's no more Tom Brady in this universe. They have whatever quarterback we'll find out next episode. Final regular season game, man. Are we going to go 15-2 or 16-1? That is the big question. We're clearly the number one seed in the AFC, so we will have home field advantage. We'll have uh, bye weeks. So we want to play the wild card. It's coming to an end, man. It is coming to an end very quickly. I hope you guys are excited for the season finale. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.